the coping saw, a handy little saw used for cutting curves. Let's start by going over the basic parts of the coping saw. This is the metal frame, this is the handle, and this is the blade. If you look carefully, you can see the tiny teeth on the blade. These little pins, slotted pins that hold the blade here and here are somewhat adjustable. So we can move them to turn the blade slightly left or right and use the saw in a more flexible way. So right now the blade is facing up so I could turn the saw this way and cut left to right. But in its normal state, the saw looks like this and we use it in this fashion. Now the teeth on the coping saw normally point toward the handle. Okay, and you can see that tiny teeth pointing toward the right. So remember that when you reassemble the coping saw. So here's how we disassemble this. We're gonna hold, with our left hand, we're gonna hold this slotted pin so it doesn't move. We're gonna turn the handle counterclockwise, loosening the saw. all the way don't let go of with your left hand keep your keep that slotted pin stationary okay once the handle is disassembled you can take this completely apart and examine the blade as long as the blade is in good shape we can put it back in if it's bent or uh, broken some way, dull, we get a new blade, we put a new blade in. All right, so reassembling the coping saw goes as follows. These little tiny pins on the end of the blade have to go into the, the slots, all right, on the guide pins. So we're gonna put that in the left side first, keeping this open. And actually, I'm gonna put that down for a second. What you should do initially is reassemble this just so that this is on a couple of turns. Keep the handle so you have a little bit of play here like this, okay? So I turn that two or three times, so now that's on there. And I get my left side in, and now the right side is gonna be just a, a little short, all right? It won't reach, won't reach the slot, right? So you're gonna have to either pull really hard if you can get it, get that to work, or you can turn this and put, put the end of it on the table and push down, give you more leverage to push down, and then you get that hooked into the slots. Once it's in, secure the guide pin again with your left hand and slowly turn the handle to the right all the way until it's nice and tight. If you do not hold this guide pin and you turn the handle, it's gonna start to twist the blade and ruin it. So make sure you secure this first, then turn the handle clockwise to the right in order to tighten this up. All right, once it's secure all the way, double check that the teeth are pointing toward the handle and you're done. You've just reassembled your coping saw. Thanks for watching.